Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about the chat completion API from OpenAI. This is going to replicate what you see in ChatGPT, but using Python code. This is the second video in my prompt engineering series. And also, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to subscribe to my AI newsletter and also go to my playlist section and find the playlist called Prompt Engineering. In my first video, I already explained you how to set up the basics for all the videos I'm gonna make in the future. You need Python, you need Visual Studio Code, and also the OpenAI Python library, which I showed how to install in this video. I also have a previous video which I show in this one where you can set up a paid account with OpenAI so you can get your OpenAI API key. All right, let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to write some code using Python and the chat completions API. In my last video, I showed you how to use this older API called v1 slash completions, which uses some older models like text davinci 3 in today's code, I'm going to use this newer API endpoint, which is slash chat slash completions, which uses newer models like GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4. Unfortunately, I don't have access to GPT 4 yet, so I'm going to default to GPT 3.5 Turbo, but that should not make much of a difference because the goal here actually is to show you how to write a prompt inside some Python code and run the whole process as a piece of code, which you can eventually potentially automate. So to get started, I'm gonna import the OpenAI library. And if you don't have that set up, you need to install the OpenAI Python library using pip. And I showed that in my first video. After that, I'm gonna import my OpenAI API key. And to get this, I'm going to go to my API keys and generate a new one. I'm going to call this prompt2 and copy this and paste it on my code right there. All right, now I'm going to write a small Python function which takes a prompt and does something with it, similar to my last video. But this time, I'm going to use a different API, the chat completion API. Now I'm going to save the result of running the chat completion API into variable called response. And after that, I'm going to specify the API endpoint. So it's going to be openai.chatcompletion.create. And inside here, I'm going to create a variable called messages. Here, I specify the role of the person who is interacting with OpenAI as a user and they are specifying the content as the prompt. This is what the function gets when we call it. After that, I specify my model as GPT 3.5 Turbo, which I have access to, my messages as the messages, the variable I just created, and I'm gonna keep the temperature at zero. This means my result from executing this prompt will not have any creative variations. I just want a factual answer. Now, when the response gets generated from running the chat completion API, I'm going to get the result as a JSON object. And if you look at the documentation page, they actually specify an example of what the response will look like. And what I need to extract here is this piece of content right here. This is going to be the result of running that prompt. Just like when you prompt something on ChatGPT, here I'm using code to do that prompting and I'm extracting the JSON to get my response. So if you see here, my return here will be response.choices, the first element of that JSON array, and get the message with the content from inside it. Now that my function is ready to go, I'm gonna provide a prompt here, similar to how you would do on ChatGPT. I'm gonna specify the prompt as a string requesting OpenAI to summarize this following piece of text delimited by these arrow brackets. Here I have a small piece of text about Elon Musk and I want this summarized. And you might have done something similar on ChatGPT where you ask ChatGPT to summarize a piece of text or a long paragraph or rephrase a paragraph or anything like that. But instead of doing that on ChatGPT, here I'm using some Python code to do the same. 
After that, I'm going to run this function using this prompt that I provided right here and gather the response that I get after filtering it through the JSON object. I'm going to say final response equal to chat completion prompt. And after that, I'm just going to print out that response. All right, that's pretty much it for the code, I think. Let me try running this using Python 3. Okay, it says syntax error. Perhaps you forgot a comma. Let me provide a comma right there and rerun that. It says keyword argument repeated. Maybe it doesn't like what I'm doing here with the messages. Maybe I'm going to clean this up a little bit and provide this right there. And remove this variable. Okay, it looks a bit cleaner. Add my comma here. And run the same thing again. Perfect. Now I have my summary. The text here describes Elon Musk, a South African entrepreneur and business magnate who was born in Pretoria in 1971. He had an early interest in technology and entrepreneurship and attended the University of Pretoria before transferring to the University of Pennsylvania, where he earned dual bachelor's degrees in physics and economics. All right, so that summarization looks decent. I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to say translate the text delimited by these arrow brackets to Spanish and see what happens then. Clear this up a little bit and run it again. All right, it says Elon Reeve Musk is un empresario y magnet de negocios. Well, I don't know Spanish, so I'm struggling here a little bit, but it looks like Spanish to me. If you're a Spanish speaker, you can verify if this came out correctly. But as you see, I'm just providing all my instructions in natural language here. So you can provide pretty much anything you want like you would do on ChatGPT. So the difference here is I'm doing this via code because what I want to show you is how you can generate different kinds of functions similar to this using code on your local computer and potentially automate some of your tasks and chain them together, which I'm going to show in future videos. And you might be wondering why do I even need to learn some Python and why do I need to do my prompting inside code? Why can't I just use ChatGPT like everybody else? The answer to that is automation. So if you were to write this code and get the response from this code and do something else with it, for example, if you want to feed the response from this on the front end of a website, you can use this Python program in the back end and feed this on a website as an API generated response that's happening in your own application. And this is how you can move from just being a user of ChatGPT and move more towards building AI applications and build automation workflows. And I'm personally working on a few workflows myself. And this is just an example of how you can generate small functions like these to do some tasks for you pretty easily. And right now, OpenAI is the only one that has a usable API accessible to most people. But I'm sure just like OpenAI, there's gonna be other companies and other products that are gonna come up where you can use their other APIs to write more code or to create your own applications. So make sure to subscribe to my channel because along with prompt engineering, I'm also gonna have a lot more automation-based videos coming up. Now to finish off this video, I just wanna change this summary as if Yoda said it. So I'm gonna say, change this text inside these brackets as if Yoda is talking. Okay, it says South African born entrepreneur and business magnate Elon Reeve Musk is involved in several groundbreaking companies he is known for. On June 28th in Pretoria, he was born. An early interest in technology he developed before transferring to University of Pennsylvania, where dual bachelor degrees in physics and economics he earned. 
Hmm. This definitely sounds like Yoda and it's doing its job. I'm very happy with the result and I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter and YouTube channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos on prompt engineering and automation coming up in the future. Till the next one, thank you so much.